Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our blindish playthrough on the hardest difficulty. We are trying to fight back the aliens in some good old fashioned uh, hardcore XCOM style game. Crash Site 3, which is uh, the last serious lake, as I would call the mission this time, will require our freshly assembled combat team. But we're now going to. No, why did I click board launch? That we're now, of course, going to send towards the crash site. And let's launch the aircraft. Thank you. And let's launch the dropship. Thank you very much. Here we go. Another night mission, unfortunate, but we are ready for that. Let's commence the tactical battle. All right, we landed. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, the first little sector is always uh, already greeting us. Well, greetings there, fellow sector. Are you kidding me? Okay. We start immediately by a retaliation. Uncle Nuber continuously seems to take the short end of uh, the stick. Good. Let's do that properly. First the shields move out. And begin to spot the enemies. Take this nasty sector. And whilst we're at it, take this. Oh. There's a guy with a rifle. I like it. One, two, is this the end of the map? It pretty much seems like it. All right. Nice little few shots right there. Going for cover. Good. Sniper is going to sniper positions. And Shattered Realm. Just make sure that we do have enough illumination there. Same here with Epitelius. <sighs> Uncle Nuber seems to always take the short end of the stick, and I don't know why. It seems the enemies just don't like grenades. Specifically, it's interesting, right, if you think about it. We shoot a big fat grenade right into his face. He takes it. He takes damage and instead of just being dazed or slightly disoriented, he just does care. Takes it like a champ and immediately retaliates. Okay, we know another enemy is uh, there. Good, we took a couple of shots. Look at that, armor was solid. Not a single hit point lost. Oh, 
Okay. One salvo. And the guy is down. Sniper. One shot and we're down. Shield is at half hit points. We are illuminating the entire area here. Second shield moves up. You already know that there are enemies back there. Surprise! Completely completely surprising one salvo takes a couple of shots none of that connect Good hit. Going back. And I think this here should take away. Yep, apparently it does not take away the wood. But we get the clear shot. The one that we've been waiting for. Okay. Good turn. One to three dead on one side, two on the other. That's five down, potentially five more to go. And so far we have only had a mild injuries. I am falling in love with the idea of maybe a third sniper. They are just incredibly good. Anchor down. More light. Bam. There you go. Moving up. And using some more light. Sniper moves up. Grenadier moves up. Switches to pistol for overwatch shots. More light at the end of the tunnel. Sniper also moves up. Dilly G in the house. 
throws another flare. I think we're just going to hunker down for good measure. Okay, well, so far so good. Time for us to get a bit busy, as they say. I haven't even found the UFO. And if I was a batting man, I would say there are plenty of enemies left in the UFO. Look at you. Uh, hmm. Potentially too far away. Having the grenadier over here will be helpful. Okay. These guys might be coming from over here so um, let's slightly move up make sure that we got everything covered Billy is a good shot but he's not a wizard yet off to the pistol a little bit closer no great firing angles, unfortunately. But we're moving up with all of our troops. Good. Let's see what these guys are going to do. I bet you the UFO is here. Else they couldn't just leave. Okay, well, that didn't really work out well. Are we getting rid of the trees? We are not, right? Well, apparently we are. There we go. Hunker down. First shot. Is it a kill? Billy is on point. Good, we need to get a bit closer. Unfortunately, these guys are still too far away for us.
Moving in. That was a quite unsuccessful throw, I might add. All right, shield gone. Come on, suppress him. Yes, there we go. Oh, come on. Still not suppressed. Not good. 20 hit point damage. We're still okay though. Okay. Reload. And. Bam. Oh, that was the, the wrong bam. One that I didn't want to hear. Okay, that's good. That's even better. Suppressed. Mega suppressed. Still not dead. Unbelievable. All right, we're healing ourselves first and foremost. Again, not happening. Billy moves up and finally ends this farcical uh, missing. I think they were playing who can troll the commander the hardest. And there is the UFO. And we got one more sniper. Might as well put a smoke grenade there. Mainly because I don't want anybody to ambush us from the side. And I learned that the smoke grenades are actually quite okay. Worth giving them all the props that they would deserve. They are not bad. Let's maybe start with sniping shots. That's one. And that would be two. Cool. Moves up. Takes a look, illuminates the area. Moving up. If he waits there. Shattered Realm joins.
Oh, damn, I just went through the smoke. Yeah, okay. Looks down is still fine. Good. There is no one out there. Fantastic. Which then brings us to Akanuber here. We'll very much blast open the door. And Jim. Okay, cool. Moving, moving, moving. Going to blast it open soon. Um. Tell you what, this here is not a bad position. Partial cover. Dilly gets a tiny bit of stun damage, but that's okay. We put both of the snipers very close. Happy. Moves up. And Shadow Realm moves up as well. Good. Cool. Let's hope a guy comes out. And uh, just go is going to eat all of the attacks. Bam. Well, hello there. Enemy Overwatch. Okay. Damn it. That guy has a lot of firepower if he can destroy an entire rock. Suppressed is a good start, but not good enough for me. There we go. Luckily, the heavy machine gun does exactly what the doctor has so, uh, ordered. Okay, didn't work out. Alright, not good. We're healing our bleeding. That little fucker. Okay. 
take this. Should have immediately shot from there. Ah. The last move was a slight mistake. Could have shot from the other side and would have gotten, uh, gotten him like a nice little salvo. Tadram. The machine guns are good. I like them. I like them a lot. And you can see typically one hit already gets them into the danger zone. Sometimes if we're lucky, immediately kills them, which is exactly what I was trying to do. In case you're wondering how just damage is being calculated, I mentioned that in the guide, but have actually never talked about it here in the in the uh, blind playthrough. So what I've what I've noticed uh, with damage is it has a huge uh, variance in terms of uh, how much damage actually um, comes through. Take the sniper for instance, which has I think 40 damage for zero. And the actual damage can range from 50% of that value up to 200% of that value. Meaning we're actually looking at a spread between 20 and 80 points of damage, which is crazy if you think about it, because 80 points of damage could might as well one shot every single enemy that we are currently encountering, whilst 20 damage against the mutant would already convert into 10 damage after uh, the scaly reduction, and then is potentially just healed up until the next time. So it's definitely I'm I'm definitely surprised to see that level of variance, and with on the higher difficulty not being able to see any form of damage is like playing with. Uh, with uh, hit points off, or you you do have a general sense of of uh, you dealing damage, but how much it is, no idea. And it's also interesting when an enemy or when you are being hit, it still creates the same blood, it still creates uh, the same hit animation. So you really never know just how much damage you have dealt. Okay. So, a couple of injuries. Billy G got a new medal. Soldiers, if they eliminate four per mission. Very nice. <laughs> he already got, yet again, 10 points just in stats. Okay, cool. That was a good mission. So, the meat arcs. I think we already saw the autopsy. Not sure why they bring that again. Hey, what are we researching? I think it was laser weapon, the heavy lasers. Okay, good. My memory served me well. Good. L laser rifles are done. We're now uh, focusing on the stun gun. This, of course, would also be nice. Precision laser. And laser machine gun, of course, is nice as well. And you can see we need a lot of material for that. Both cleaner cells have now been revealed. Destroying a cell will end the cleaner activity in the linked regions and give the opportunity to collect additional cleaner data. This will also weaken the cleaner headquarters by removing an associated bonus from the Why didn't it stop? Anyway, stun gun is done. Uh, time for us to start the production on the precision laser. We need two of these. And what is this here? Persistent. Hmm, I like the idea of going there. How are our soldiers looking? I would like to get one of those cleaner cells down. Hit points are looking okay. Uncle Nuber, not so great, but the rest sort of okay. We could switch around a couple uh, more people. So we got mainly Eptilius as a rifleman. But look. That is easy. Epi goes and our friend Nick Nick joins.
And I think Uncle Nuber takes chill pill. And Aziza, uh, Azizal Darkrai can come back again. There we go. So we have a lot of Warden armor. I like the idea of that extra Ballistic Rifle. I must wonder though... No, we can't... We can't give them an extra shield. But I think so far we were okay with the shields, to be entirely honest. We just need to make sure that they are uh, still useful afterwards. And the pistol is good. Uh, we did have the stun pistols. Where are those bad boys? There we go. Thank you. Stun pistol only has three shots, so we definitely want a little bit more ammunition. Fifteen stun and twenty-two EMP damage. Very much armor penetration. Has a huge fall off and shoots quite a bit. So I like it. Going to go in with that pistol. Uh, Natalia is currently not strong enough. Yeah, since the weapon isn't that bad, I think just going in with more ammunition actually could do the trick instead of going with the standard assault rifle. Very good. Shattered Realm. We do have laser assault rifles, right? And if you just compare them side by side, takes more damage, substantially more armor penetrate uh, armor reduction, and the rest is pretty much the the exact same. Whilst I appreciate that uh, the that makes the weapons quite predictable, it also takes a bit of the fun away because. There aren't any like special features on the new weapons, so I think XCOM again, uh, even Long War uh, did a better job with that, where all of the new uh, weapons were always having a an extra feature or two. By the way, why did Natalia Array have only 85% of her hit points? Didn't we have her shield? Well, we have zero. Uh, as a shield or JP poorly I think I tell you what Natalia Natalia might uh, just stay as she is, and we're going to pick someone else as uh, the shield, because she is injured, and I want to make sure that no one is getting themselves too much in danger. Also, Polly, our good friend, could use a mission or two. Good, there we are, Polly, for starters. Needs the correct armor. And once we are at that, weigh twenty six, and these things weigh only twenty. All right, well, better than nothing as a reserve weapon. Matter of fact, both of them do. Okay, good. Shattered Realm. 
how much ammunition do they have? Capacity 5 shots, 20 shots. I see, so the whole thing about laser weapons is apparently they are low capacity and therefore need a lot of ammunition. Okay. Let's try it uh, with a little bit less ammunition, but full um, time units. Okay. I think the rest is pretty much them on standard. Good. Like one smoke grenade. The heavies still remain uh, in their normal, uh, with the normal equipment, and the new snipers are actually super good. And we have more ammunition than ever. Even got extra ones there. Little smoke grenade here. Dilly is a monster, by the way. This guy has everything going for him. He has super high armor, super high bravery, 84 accuracy by now, which means even with a sloppy shot, like the normal shot is 80% accuracy, he still has a pretty damn good accuracy. And if I multiply that by 135, which is the scoped accuracy, then he will soon be able to ignore the 40% reduction um, from cover. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so that's our team. Got a few weapons produced. We're continuing to producing more uh, sniper rifles. And then uh, the other one would be heavy... Uh, heavy laser rifles, but we don't have that yet. Oh, we do have it because we have uh, finished uh, finished that research. There's still the option for a laser pistol, but I think that other pistol the stun gun isn't actually too bad i think that's a very very good uh weapon good we got our ducks in a row which means now is the time for a tactical mission and that tactical mission dear friends will happen the next time as this is the end of today's episode if you enjoyed uh, Xenonauts and our fight against the aliens, then leave a comment and a like down below and hopefully we will see each other in the next episode. Bye bye!